Now let's get to do Having been on both sides of the ball, uh, does it matter to you personally whether it's 60-40, 70-30, uh, It doesn't matter to me. I mean, as long as, you know, the coaches are going to call good calls and they know what they're doing. And I, I personally love running the ball, but I enjoy passing it too. And especially whenever you can get that balance thing where they don't know what you're doing, that's when you can play your full ability and really play that game within the game. Well, then when you hear that Kubiak is going to want to run the ball more, does that excite you? I love running the ball. Yeah. Good to put your head down and hit somebody, drive them off the ball. I'm all about that. I, I've never met an offensive lineman, and you're somewhat new to that game anyway, <laughs> but I've never met an offensive lineman that didn't want to run the football because I guess it seems like you must be more involved. You control the situation. Is Absolutely. that a fair way to put it? Yeah, As opposed to backing up. If you're backing up the, the defenses, and you've been on that side of the ball for a long time, the defense is actually c controlling the line of scrimmage. And now, easy to get you off balance. When I say controlling right. line of scrimmage, I don't mean that you know, it's it's unbalanced, but they control what's where they're going as opposed to if you're running football, you kind of control. Is, right, is, you have a little more idea of where the ball's at, and you have a little more actual power in your hands to kind of control where, where even the running back goes depending on your body position. Uh, in regard to the to zone blocking, which I've always loved, uh, is that another adjustment you're going to have to make in your career? I, I love zone blocking because it's one of those things where I feel like I'm pretty quick off the ball, especially for an offensive lineman coming from my defensive perspective. And I like getting out there, I like cutting, you know, Air Force style. So I, I like the zone. Yeah, so you, so you did do some zone blocking at Air Force. No. Right? <laughs> well, I was on defense. Was on the defense oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I, I, that's, I, what I, that's why I'm asking. It's a just for me. He's seen it from, but, uh, yeah. seen it from the backside. If you, but if I you do will. know that the Broncos implemented some zone blocking yeah, in their scheme on offense Absolutely. when you were an offensive lineman. With right. Yeah. So you're used to it. Yeah, we, 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 ran, we ran a little bit of everything. Gab zone, yeah. man, we ran a little bit of everything. And so... That's what John Fox said, that, that, that he was always accused of being a power blocking guy. He right. said, we, we use some zone blocking, but Gary Kubiak uses it all the time. Right. That was a Mike Shanahan, Alex Gibbs trait. And I don't know, I'll make a, you know, you heard me that I gave advice to Demaris. I <laughs> go to Duke. <laughs> don't be in this, <laughs> go, don't be in this restaurant. I go to Duke. <laughs> so I'm going to give you some advice, <laughs> and then I will shut up. You want, you want but, a pencil and paper? Or <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll take some notes. Season. Alex Gibbs was the master of zone blocking, and I don't, I don't know whether you've ever studied him, but I, last uh, season. Well, he, co he coached two years ago when Ben yeah. was here. Yeah. Actually, yeah. 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 I, I looked at film of him two years ago, uh, no, of, of when he gave a clinic to the Florida coaches, mm -hmm. and it went on for almost two hours. And I was going to watch like five minutes, and I got so intrigued and so pulled in about his theories about zone blocking. And when you said being a, a mobile offensive lineman, that that's what he always wanted was guys that could move around because it was the backside of the play that he felt was more important than the front side. Absolutely. I mean, he talked about it a lot too, just how often that zone blocking, you'd be surprised how it cuts back and how often it actually, where the ball actually ends up. And so, I mean, zone blocking the backside is extremely important. That's oftentimes the key block that'll spring that 40-yard, 30-yard run. That's why I think it's really important for all, the offensive linemen to have their head in every play. Right. The, the, it, it, Again, am I being fair that you can't like take a play off or say it's going to the other side, so I don't have to worry about it because it's going to probably come back to your side. Exactly, especially on offense. So on defense, you can be in the wrong gap, mess up, and end up making the play because of it because it threw the offensive lineman off. But every single play on offense, everyone has to be in sync and understand what's going on and understand the full concept of the play. For instance, that it might cut back, and that's my, my key block on the backside might be really important.